Hello Aquarius and welcome back to another reading with Soulful. So, something weird. Um, as I was connecting with the Aquarius energy, I just had this uh, want, this want to close my eyes. Okay, I just felt as though I needed to, not really because I'm tired. I'm not, I slept a lot. Um, it's like, I, I don't want to see something. There's something I don't want to look at. I don't want to see it. Um, even right now, I'm thinking it's like, I, I don't want to watch what I'm seeing. Okay, so the energy is almost like I'm seeking an escape or something like that. Okay, it's a very weird thing. I, I just, you know, when I put, I, I rub my eyes, I, I felt maybe it was because of my incense here, but it's not. Okay, it's like this either a subconscious kind of block where, you know, you don't really want to see the truth of something or maybe someone you know doesn't want to see the truth and you know that, you know, you know. Um, <laughs> but what I am really getting here is just a vibe of not seeing something, not not seeing either the truth or someone not seeing. It's, it's, it's more metaphorical than it is more so this. And, and the energy is almost like I want to escape. I want to get through this. I want to escape this. So let's go ahead and explore this energy. Okay. All right. So let's connect with Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. What is going on? in the world of Aquarius today. I'm also getting some heart, uh, some heart pain. Okay, heart activation. So let's take a look. What is going on with Aquarius today? What is going on with Aquarius? Ace of Swords, on oh, yes, in reverse, okay. Hierophant. Okay, so Aquarius, this explains the energy that I was feeling. This this feeling of um, like uh, there is there the current energy is an of one of an examination. Okay, it's it's like. I'm not really happy or pleased with what the situation is. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And, and, and But yet here with the Ace of Swords in reverse, I feel defensive energy, okay, which is kind of like with this feeling of an avoidance of a truth, this energy that I was, con that I was connecting with, okay? It's like I know that this situation is not going to bear my the the fruit okay you've planted something you've planted seeds into something and here with a hierophant I feel as in this future energy there's going to be a challenge of your values in this situation mm -hmm. there is something that maybe even I'm hearing this Oof, I don't like this. You're experiencing perhaps a relationship or a situation in your life that is just unhealthy and it has been that way for a long time because it's traditional. For someone I'm hearing arranged marriage, that is a possibility, an arranged marriage, and this could be why... And that will be for a select few, if maybe one or two, I'm not sure. But this marriage or this relationship or experience, it's not good because you're, you're trying uh, this energy that you're in. You're trying to, to avoid the, the truth of it. Okay. But you know, deep down, it's either not making you happy. You're reexamining it. Or you know it's not going to bear any fruit. I just got the message maybe some of you can't get pregnant. And maybe that's why this situation. That's really hard. Okay, Aquarius. That's really hard. Um, so let's, let's take a look at this. Okay. You could also be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus here. Okay. This could be who you're with. Or you could have earth in your chart. So tell me about the Ace of Swords.
Seven of Cups in reverse. Death. And Four of Wands. Yeah. So in the this position, in this past energy, okay, we've got a lot of inability to, to make a choice, inability to see truth from illusion here. Okay, what is the right choice? What is true? What is true in my life? Um, maybe some repression. Okay, I get a feeling of real repression here. And then with the with death here, it's like some something has happened currently in this situation, in this relationship, where you are realizing that this this isn't happy for you with a four of wands in reverse uh this change that has come through you are rebirthing okay you are realizing that this change needs to happen because uh death decided to have a conversation with you okay on some level whether subconscious okay the energy of change is within this past energy and Perhaps you raised your sword to death and said, no, 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 I'm not, I'm going to stick, stick with this, I'm going to stick with this, because it made sense, it made sense, right Aquarius? But here, 1111, it may be important to you, maybe you're going through a spiritual situation, okay, maybe this is uh, recalibration, I'm hearing recalibrating you, okay, to align with your actual real purpose in life, whatever it is that you want to do. Mm -hmm. because you're not happy in this situation you're not so let's look at the current energy i just got a really uh have you guys ever heard of that uh artist chet czar real morbid uh artist he he painted these paint he painted a series of paintings of his nightmares when i look at this painting and this or sorry in this picture in this current energy that's what i'm reminded of I'm not saying you're living a nightmare, maybe you are, but I'm kind of reminded of like these dead kind of morbid scenes, you know, he has a very dark imagination and I'm kind of getting this like, <sighs> these gardens that are just dying. I don't know why. Um, so maybe you're having some dark thoughts, Aquarius. So let's have a look. The star in reverse, no wonder, okay. King of cups in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse, blocked, no emotional fulfillment, no healing. The situation has sucked you dry, okay? It has sucked you dry of um, life force, in a sense, of your soul, of your spirit. And that's why death came and you were unable to avoid it, okay? That's why he decided he... Uh, well, he's pretty genderless, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, death decided to say there is a change here. You are unhappy and I'm going to force you to see the truth. Look at the light. Okay, look at the light. And now you are seeing the truth, even though you're trying not to. Do you remember what I said at the start of this reading? It was like I wanted to close my eyes. I wanted to avoid this. I wanted to close my eyes and not look at it ever again. But here with the star energy in reverse, there is a call for internal healing and for you to reconnect with your inner self. Okay. You have lost yourself in a sense. You've lost who your, this is a hard reading Aquarius. I feel for you. Okay. As an empathic person, I feel for you. This situation is keeping you from moving forward at a speed that's beneficial. And also I feel inner communication has been knocked off. Okay. Communicating with yourself so much denial, um, inability to see how it has kind of just really pulled out your energy. Okay. Because you've been stuck in this kind of mindset that this is what I'm supposed to do. But here, you are being called with the star energy for growth, okay, for healing. Look to the stars, okay, look to the universe, look to around you. What is, uh, what makes you happy? Is anything around you making you happy, Aquarius? Um, or is there, are you blinded to the beauty because you've been surrounded by decay? I know this is really dark, but this reading is dark. That I'm picking up on okay this energy is dark it's like you know when you're uh, at the bottom of a hole and the only way to get out of it is to is to literally claw your way out that's how it feels and you've drowned 
you know, you could also be dealing with a, a toxic person with this King of Cups in reverse here. King of Cups in reverse energy to me literally feels like a person that not only do they cut their emotions off from you, but they make sure you damn well know that they're the boss in a sense when it comes to emotions. Don't show me you know, and they may even be the kind of, ugh, this is what I'm getting, the kind of person that when they talk about their emotions, they want you to listen. But when you are wanting to express how you feel about this situation, it's cut off. It's like you're being too emotional. Sounds like my ex-husband. Hmm. All right, so... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the Hierophant and the future energy here. We've got Queen of Pentacles popping out in reverse. Okay, you, there's a fear of losing stability in this future energy. Maybe some of you are, okay, we've got the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Wow, okay, I love this. I love this. Okay, hear me out, Aquarius. You're going to take back what's yours. Okay, and if you haven't yet, something is going to be communicated to you in this marriage, in this relationship. Something will be communicated to you that makes you just flip. Okay, you're going to just be like, you know what? No. No. I think that um, the, fear, the fear of losing your stability, the fear of whoever this person is, this Aquarius that I'm connecting with, this air energy, okay, the Queen of Swords, you will return to your element. You, I feel like a fight, uh, not, not a fight, like physical altercation, but like you're going to realize that you don't have to put up with this and you're going to go boom, Queen of Swords mode, okay, not Queen of Swords reverse and being, you know, completely heartless, but you know what, I know what I want and you are going to communicate this, okay, you're, you're going to see something, something's going to bring some freedom to you, maybe the fear of losing your stability is going to be overcome in this future energy and I think you're also learning something very intense right now I don't know why I keep being drawn by the 11 11 here Aquarius this could be a spiritual calling okay this could be you're waking up with death here okay so tell me tell me about the star energy okay tell me about this ace of cups Ten of Swords in Reverse and the Tower in Reverse. <sighs> okay, so this change, right? The star energy is trying, you know, the universe is trying to push this uh, new beginning onto you, okay? And to try to get you to realize where your own fulfillment lies. It wants you to leave this pain behind, okay? Uh, it could be your guides. It could be whatever you believe in. doesn't matter to me, okay? But whatever you are being pushed towards with this Queen of Swords energy and the star in reverse is, is trying to say, look in the mirror. Look at yourself. Are you fulfilled? Do you want to keep learning this lesson over and over again? Or are you going to just allow the tower to fall? Okay. And I feel that this person that you're dealing with, that you may be in a relationship with, this is very specific reading. Okay. They are going to, um, lose their shit. And I don't mean go violent. I mean, they're going to not really understand what's happening. Uh, if you embrace the star energy avoidance of a tower moment. Okay. You, heck, you may even get out of this you may even find an escape plan. I'm hearing this for some Aquarius, okay, that are going through this. But I do feel that avoidance, closing your eyes too long to the situation, closing your eyes too long to it is um, going to, to create a tower moment that's unavoidable, okay? Mm. Tell me about this. I'm, I'm curious about this, uh, this eight of wands. Okay. This fast action, swift movement with the queen of swords here. I want to know about this real future energy because I feel, um, Aquarius, this is your saving grace, so to speak. So tell me this just popped upside down. Two of wands. You want better. You want better. You are planning. You want better. Oh my goodness, three of wands just came out. 
good cards, progression, planning, uh, seeing a better future, two of wands and three of wands, moving into it, okay, that's what this is, action, action, uh, all these wands together, this action energy is going to push you back into yourself, into your future element of who you truly are, and taking control of your life again, oh, beautiful energy, the devil in reverse, you're going to let go with this, okay? You could also be dealing with someone who has Capricorn in their chart. I do feel you may be dealing with an earth sign. It's possible, highly possible. But here, okay, the devil in reverse. These lessons are hard, but you see it for what it is, okay? You see it for what it is. And you're going to... Um, Heck, you may even have to embrace a little bit and this devil energy to get yourself free of this situation. Because some he real healing is needed. Real growth is needed. I, I just feel so much like um, trapped in a sense. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to realize that the, the unhealthiness of this relationship, because you're looking forward to the future, you're looking out, um, and realizing you, you may have been too giving to this person as well here with this double energy in the reverse. You may have given too much of yourself over to this situation, but, but in this future energy, I see a real promise. Okay. Aquarius. Whew. All right. So and it's always up to you. The choice is yours. Stay or go or do or what, you know, I'm just delivering the messages from source. Okay. So tell me what advice do you have for lovely Aquarius? What advice source in this situation in their current energy? What advice? Emotions are running high. Mm, you really are, uh, wanting that you're really wanting a future here i feel you want this current energy you're emo you're opening up to your emotions we also have the queen of cup or the, that king of cups in reverse here remember what i said about emotion okay emotional instability exists in this situation mm running high perhaps you've been on high octane with your emotions with this person for a long time and now it's coming to a head work through your fears new moon and scorpio queen of swords okay air truth honesty strength rationality looking at the situation for what it is okay this air element move into it don't be afraid to use your mind in a situation where emotions have been uh, corrupted okay and i don't like the corrupted emotional landscape i hate it i hate that feeling you know you learn a lot of lessons there about your self-worth but it's fearful just like this, work through your fears, okay? Boom, new moon in Aquarius. Look at this. This is you. Bring love into the situation for yourself, for yourself, okay? And this other person, yeah, they may need some compassion, but that's after you tell the truth, <laughs> you know? But for you, the love is, this is about you. Star card, Aquarius. In reverse, you see this message? Flip it, okay? Flip this. Who are you truly? Who are you really, Aquarius? Okay? Hmm. Beautiful. All right, so let's get one last message for you from the angels. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Oh, that's too many. A little bit smaller, please. What messages do you have for Aquarius? New moon, new start, new start. Oof, I feel a new start coming, I really do. Positive thinking, yes, out of this landscape, this Chet Czar landscape, okay? Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry, think love. Self-love, growth, getting yourself back out of the star and reverse energy. You see this Aquarius, okay? Positive thinking, 
get out of this, whatever this is, this, this, oof, you know, this, this energy of closing your eyes and open your eyes to the situation. All right, Aquarius, good luck. I'll see you soon. Bye.